Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about Cinder Block vs Concrete Block. What is Cinder Blocks? Cinder blocks are hollow rectangle shaped structures usually made of concrete and coal cinders which find use in construction sites. Or cinder blocks are similar in shape and construction to concrete blocks, except that, instead of sand or gravel, much of the aggregate filling material is ash specifically coal cinder. The ash component makes cinder blocks much lighter than traditional ones, but they don't have nearly the same tensile strength or pressure bearing ability. Therefore, cinder blocks are ideal for projects such as a garden wall or retaining wall, but are not suitable for use in more substantial construction projects. Cinder blocks now, about the so-called cinder blocks. Cinder block is somewhat old-fashioned and the generic term for a type of structural block that can be easily manufactured from many different things. At that time, when people burned coal to heat their homes, Places like Bethlehem Steel had large coke ovens running 24 sevenths, a lot of cinder was produced a generic term for ash left behind when coal or similar fuels are burned. As in the ashes of today's wood stoves, a typical winter would leave an owner with countless trash cans worth ashes, Coal and steel mills would create tons of this waste every day. So it was used to make cinder blocks. These were and in some cases still have the same shape and size as concrete blocks, but with industrialized waste such as Aggregate instead of the sand or gravel used to make concrete areolite concrete. As I indicated earlier, the difference between concrete versus cement is that Concrete is the term for the final product created when the filling component is kept together with the cement. Therefore, those large trucks with cylinders in constant Rotation are essentially concrete trucks and are not actually cement trucks. And while real concrete blocks are in the minority today, someone looking at a pile of what might more correctly be called masonry units or breeze blocks is much more likely to call them concrete blocks than they are concrete blocks. Cinder blocks are also created from concrete, but the aggregate includes ash or cinder ash. Consequently, cinder blocks are much lighter than concrete blocks. Cinder blocks are hollow rectangular structures, usually made of concrete and coal cinder, that are used in construction sites. On the other hand, concrete blocks are flattened constructions of steel, wood, or cement. Cinder blocks It is usually made of concrete, in addition to coal cinder. Much lighter compared to the latter because of the proportion of aggregate. It is not very strong so it is often avoided in some places. They are more likely to bend and buckling and repairs are often very expensive, so they are avoided. They were almost out of fashion, 
as they have not been mass-produced for about 50. It does not have a significant amount of tensile strength. Strength of cinder blocks Concrete and cinder blocks are produced with open cells that can accept metallic reinforcement or additional concrete for greater strength. Concrete blocks are much stronger than cinder blocks. Several building codes explicitly prohibit the use of cinder blocks in civil construction projects. What is concrete blocks? Concrete blocks are comprised of water, cement, and aggregate loads, such as sand, gravel, or crushed stone. When mixed and allowed to cure, these ingredients come together in a hard, strong, and durable substance, ideal for use in construction. Concrete blocks have various shapes and can be solid or hollow. Types of Concrete Blocks Hollow Concrete Blocks Commonly used in the construction industry, hollow concrete blocks are generally manufactured with light aggregates with a certain design load, depending on the nature of the element in which it will be used. Typically, hollow concrete blocks have gross voids in their gross area and the solid area should not be less than half of its area to reach its maximum permissible load capacity, a study suggests. The voids are usually filled with light aggregate mortar as well. There are two types of hollow concrete blocks, load-bearing hollow concrete blocks and non-load-bearing hollow concrete blocks. Itis available line sizes such as 100 x 200 x 400 mm 200 x 200 x 400 mm 150 x 200 x 400 mm and so on. Autoclaved Aerated Concrete Block AAC. Ingredients as bricks, but with a different composition that made the material a container to reduce costs. Studies show that the use of an autoclaved aerated block has diligently reduced the overall consumption of steel and concrete by 15% and 10%. Apparently, in terms of the cost-benefit factor, the autoclaved aerated block passes through bricks in several areas, such as construction time, adaptation to various surfaces, fire resistance, and cost. For the installation of the AAC block, a method declaration must be sent for approval before work begins. Concrete Bricks Concrete bricks are usually small rectangular blocks arranged and stacked systematically to create a rigid wall. These bricks are usually made of baked clay or concrete. Some manufacturers use solid concrete, while others play with their proportion of cement and aggregates for economic purposes. Other manufacturers have also created bricks with different colors, as requested by some customers. Concrete bricks are generally used in fences, facades, as they provide a good aesthetic and smooth appearance. Solid Concrete Blocks The path is denser and larger than concrete bricks. Solid concrete blocks are made to be strong, 
heavy, and created from naturally dense aggregates. These solid concrete blocks are strong enough to be used in large masonry units that support load by nature. Solid concrete blocks are similar to concrete bricks, but they are much more expensive and heavy and can withstand more forces compared to bricks. Lintel Blocks These concrete blocks are used in the preparation of lintel beams. These lintel blocks are manufactured in such a way that they serve as a masonry unit and a formwork. Aesthetically, the lintel blocks have a deep groove, where reinforcement bars are placed together with the concrete. That is, they serve as permanent formwork systems for the lintel beam member. This is considered efficient and useful by most builders, as they serve two different purposes. Paving Blocks Paving blocks are usually just a rectangular or square box made up of reinforced concrete. As these blocks are used in paving and on the side of the road, they must be painted with high-visibility concrete paints so that drivers and drivers can see it immediately. In addition, these blocks must be rigid and firm enough to receive car collisions. Paving blocks are also used in parks, walkways, and, sometimes, in parking areas. The common size of a paving block is 60 mm. Concrete Stretcher Block Again, somewhat similar to the corner block, concrete stretcher blocks are used to combine masonry units. With regard to appearance, the concrete stretcher block is relatively the same as a regular hollow block, but its faces are placed parallel to the face of the wall. Concrete Block They comprise steel, wood, or cement. Usually heavier than a cinder block. It can support much more than cinder blocks and, in many places, the use of cinder blocks is prohibited on purpose. Very efficient compared to the previous one, as it can withstand a lot of pressure. Widely used for its undeniable strengths and advantages over the former. Used simultaneously as a mixture with cinder vertically to form a resistant structure at reasonable prices due to its significant tensile strength. Cinder Block vs. Concrete Block Cinder block is made of concrete and cinder. Concrete block is produced from steel, wood, or cement. Cinder block is lighter than concrete blocks. Concrete block is heavier because it contains stone and sand. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.